my dear children today we are going to do session number 7 of that is related with debentures okay so this is the part of second book as you know that share capital and debentures both are having one unit so share capital we already completed now we are going to do debentures okay so here first of all i want to show you the latest paper pattern because this year you have to make some strategy to attempt the question paper because total number of questions has been increased these are 34 and uh, one marker questions are 20. so accordingly you have to make your strategy three marker, six questions, four marker, three questions, and six marker, five questions will be there. So you have to solve sample papers and accordingly you will manage your time, okay? So now here in this session, issue and redemption of debentures I will complete. Redemption of debentures means repaid or payment back of debentures by the company. Okay, company canceled the debenture certificates and made the payment accordingly. So here, see, there will be three questions. Okay, one marker, three marker, or six marker. Okay, and accordingly, that will be option between share. Okay, now see, we will do some MCQs. First, Read the question carefully. Debenture holders gets interest at the stated rate, whether the company earns profit or not. Assertion means debenture company will pay the interest to the debenture holders at the pre-decided specified rate, whether the company is having profits or not. Yes a session is true because interest on debenture is a charge it has the company has to pay it whether they are having profits or not that's why charge means compulsory to pay then reason interest on debenture is treated as an appropriation of profit See, this is not an appropriation. In, appropri in appropriation, we can say that appropriation of profits means the items will be given only out of profits. But as I told you, that interest on debenture is a charge. So the answer is, assertion is true. They will get interest, but reason is false. Here, it will be charge of profits clear got it but charge of profits next question abc took over the assets of rupees seven lakh sixty thousand liabilities of eighty thousand of buy limited for purchase consideration of rupees five lakh eighty five thousand Okay, issue of 12% debentures of 100 each at a discount of 10%. The number of debentures to be issued. It's my request, please read the question carefully. Number of debentures they are asking. Okay, yes, try to do it. Yes, children, I'm waiting for your answer. Don't make the general entries because this question is related with numbers only. See, numbers, same as in the shares, net amount to be paid upon, you have to use this formula, issue price of one debenture. That is the topic which is in the shares as well as in debentures. 585000 and what will be the issue price yes 90 okay so the number of debentures will come 6500 got it so your answer will be 65 
see how we get net amount to be paid because the purchase consideration given that is 5,85,000. How that 90 rupees come because 100 minus 10% discount. Yes, very good. Yes, now we are moving. Yes, Chavi's answer is perfect. Yes, answer B, 6,500. Yes, Chavi, good beta, keep it up. Now, see question number three. Very important question. That question came even in CUET. Excess value of net asset over purchase consideration at the time of purchase of business is credited to, yes, children, first, because these type of questions you will get in competitive exams as well. What will be the th answer of third question according to you? Excess value of net asset over purchase consideration is treated as capital reserve. Okay. If you have doubt, I'll solve it. Now next. Assets are of rupees 6,60,000. Liabilities 80,000. Purchase consideration 6 lakh. Payable 10% in cash, balanced by issue of 15% debentures at 10% discount, the number of debentures to be issued. Yes, children. The question number four is little bit same as two, but here one difference is there. 10% in cash. It means, first of all, we have to reduce the 10%. Okay, here I am going to show you how to do that. Yes, still you have to try. So the purchase consideration is 6 lakh. 10% in cash, very good. 10% means 60,000, very good children. So the net amount to be paid 5 lakh 40,000. And the value or issue price of one debenture, what will be the issue price? Yes, numbers is equals to net amount to be paid upon issue price. Yes, yes, perfect, 6,000. So the answer is C, 6,000. And here how that answer is there, capital reserve, because net asset over purchase consideration. So we can make the general entry Okay, and then we can come to know that this will be, yes, Rishika, perfect. Your answer is also correct. That is C, 6,000. Very good, Bacho. Very good. C, answer is 6,000. So the difference between question number two and four is that, first of all, we have to reduce the payment made in cash. Then we can find out the numbers. Be careful about that, okay? Now next. Yes, do you know about collateral securities? Yes, collateral security is a topic in debentures when a company wants to raise funds through bank loans, they have to give some additional or secur secondary security to the banks, but not liable to pay interest on it. Okay. So here, collateral security means secondary security in addition to principal security. Debentures can be issued as collateral securities by the companies in case principal security falls short. Yes, children, what do you think? What will be the answer? So answer is A, both. Assertion and reason both are collect. Correct, because collateral securities are secondary security, while debentures can be issued in case of principal security fall. Next, when debentures are issued at par, redeemable at premium, the loss on such an issue is debited to which account? See, this is the condition 
I'll explain you at the end when shares are issued with the conditions of redemption. So here, six conditions are there in your book. Okay, issue at par, redeemed at par, issue at par, redeemed at premium, like this way. Okay, so here, issued at par, but redeemed at premium. Then the loss on such issue is debited to which account? That question came twice in CBSC. Yes, please let me know what will be your answer. Yes, answer is C. You can say this is Lloyd. Lloyd means loss on issue of debentures. See, premium on redemption is known as POD, P-O-R-D, premium on redemption of debenture, but loss which is debited is known as Lloyd, loss on issue of debenture. Next topic, yes. Again, a very good question. That question they gave in CUET. See, first of all, I want to tell you that prefix with the debenture is rate of interest. Prefix with rate of interest is, yes. Prefix with rate of interest uh, is known as rate of interest. Yes, Para, your answer is correct. Medha, your is also perfect. Now, please see the question number seven. Yes, Para, very good, Bita. Keep it up. Now, what will be the amount of interest? See, every question is looking similar. But what they want to know, you should focus on it. Like in previous question, they ask, calculate capital reserve in that number of debentures. Here, the simple question, what is the total amount of interest? So what I want to tell you, please look at the screen, that 12% is their rate of interest. And be careful. Interest always charge on face value, not on issue price, not on market value, okay, not on premium or discount. It is always on face value. So here I am going to show you interest is equals to numbers into rupees into 12%. So that will come 48,000 rupees. See, this is the rate of interest. This is the number and the, that is 100. Ignore the premium. So your answer will be 48,000. Yes, children, be careful. Don't calculate interest on market value or premium value or discount value. And be careful. If the interest uh, given by the company twice in the year, you should do 6 by 12. Or twice in the year, then 3 by 12. So as you in your childhood, I am sure you must know, interest is equals to P into T into R upon 100. Now, same formula we will use here. Got it, Bacho? Any doubt? Yes, so here answer is A, 48,000, 48,000 because rate of interest is clearly mentioned. Next, yes, please. ABC Limited issues 10,009% debentures of 100 each at a premium of 5%, payable at a premium of 10%, Okay, see the question. Actually, the language is a little bit different. The loss on issue of debentures will be debited. Issue at premium, redeemed at premium. Yes, what will be the amount of loss on issue? Lloyd, 
L O I D. Yes, please. What do you think? What will be the answer? Yes, children. See, the answer is one leg. How that one leg comes? Yes, please. See, Lloyd means premium on redemption of debentures. So here, 10,000 is number 100 rupees and that is rate is 10%. Okay, so your answer will be 1 lakh. Means premium on redemption we will consider. See, this premium is known as SPR. This premium is known as POD. Okay, so that will be debited. Loss on issue of debentures. Next question. While issuing this type of debentures, company doesn't give any undertaking for the repayment of money borrowed by issuing such debentures. Yes, I'm waiting for your answer, children. Question number nine. Let me know your answer. What do you think? What should be the answer? See, read the question again. While issuing this type of debentures, company doesn't give any undertaking for the repayment of money. So that is non-redeemable debentures. Non-redeemable debentures means those debentures which are not to be redeemed by the company. Company is not liable to repay. They are not giving any undertaking. Next. This is a question which is given in CBSE guideline Hots, high order thinking skill question. Because here they have not given you, here I'm going to focus hmm, at a specified rates. See, they have not given, uh, rate is not given. And the question is at what rate? At what rate? This is the question many students are confused because SOPL, Statement of Profit and Loss Debited Amount Given. Yes, children, please try to do that question. See here, POD given. Premium on redemption of debentures given, okay? 10%, it means 50,000 into, okay, 10% that is given now, 10%, okay, so a number of that is 100, face value is 100, so that will come 5 lakh rupees, board is 5 lakh rupees, but Lloyd they have deducted, loss on issue of debentures they have deducted is only 2 lakh, it means 3 lakh they cover from SPR. Okay, children, security premium reserve. Okay, please let me know what is the difference between premium on redemption of debenture and security premium reserve. See, in, in the name itself, it is given. Premium on redemption of debenture means when company will pay it back or repay the amount, that time they will give some extra amount, which is known as premium. And security premium reserve, okay, it means amount of premium which is given at the time of issue. Fresh issue. Now see, SPR is 3 lakh. So how to calculate SPR? Same way, 50,000 debentures, 100 rupees each, but you don't know the rate. So you have mentioned it as X. Okay, so that will be 3 lakh. Now simply, X is equals to 3 lakh upon 50,000. 
x is equals to 6%, so your answer will be 6%. Please note down, and if you have doubt, please let me know. So by this way, you can calculate rate of premium. Note down the answer. That is the question given on in the CBSC thoughts, high order thinking skill questions. I'll give you one more question of this type. But first of all, because the rate is not given, so we assume that it is X. Yes, Farah, your answer is correct, Vita. Very good. This is 6%. Now we are moving next question. In this question, see the difference between previous question and this question. In the previous question, what rate of premium? And in the next question, at what rate of discount? So yes, it's up to you now how to do that because method I have explained you. Very good. Yes, children, try to do it. That is question number 11. 25 lakh is the existing balance and the loss write-off is 5 lakh rupees. Yes, see that. Here I am going to show you SPR balance is 25 lakh and balance use. Use that is 5 lakh. It means balance is use 20 lakh. Okay. Use means write off. Now we have to see the board. Premium on redemption of debenture, that is 20%. Port means premium on redemption of debenture, that is 20%. Very good, children. So now 80,000 are the debentures, 100 rupees each, okay? And the rate is 20%. So now that will come 16 lakh. So remaining is... 4 lakh. Okay. Now, by the same way, as I explain you, discount is equals to, we have to calculate discount, 50,000. Okay. Discount, 80,000 is the number of debentures, 100 rupees each. Okay. And 20%, uh, to, uh, we can say this is x so it will be easy for you x upon 100 is equals to 4 lakh x is equals to 4 lakh upon 80000 so that will come 5% because 20 lakh minus 16 lakh, the balance remaining is 4 lakh, which is treated as discount. And same way, as I told you, numbers into rupees into rate. But as we don't know the rate, we can put it X. So by this way, we can come to know the value of X. Yes, children, fast copy. So the correct answer is 5%. Note down. Yes, Farah, your concepts are clear, beta. Your answer is same as mine. Very good. Keep it up. Yes, I'm very happy with the active participation of students. All are ready to give the answers. See, this is the way to save your time because accountancy is the game of accuracy and speed. 
Okay, so in CUET, you will be able to complete your paper within time. Very good, because CB, uh, CUET is completely based on MCQ. As well as this year, CBSC is also going to give 20 MCQs. Yes, Farah, very good. Next, ready. As per Companies Act 2013, security premium balance can be utilized for which of the following purpose? Yes, please. Which of the following purpose? Issuing bonus shares. Providing for payment or for redemption, writing of all capitalized expenditure or buyback of debentures. Security premium balance can be utilized for premium payable on redemption of debentures. Means that premium can be utilized for the premium on redemption. Board. SPR will be used for board next yes again i am saying you this type of questions cbsc is generally gave this quest type of questions yes very good shabash perfect answer yes now see if vendors are issued debentures of 4,40,000 in consideration of asset of 5 lakh and liabilities of rupees 1 lakh, the balance of rupees 40,000 will be. Yes, here I am waiting for your answer. 40,000 rupees you will transfer via. So here I want to give you one concept. If you will feel any difficulty, just pass this entry as this is based on class 11. Asset account debit 4,40,000. Two liabilities. Asset are of 5 lakh. Liabilities are of 1 lakh. To vendor, vendor means PC, PC means purchase consideration. Now, please let me know if the balance is in debit, balancing figure, if in debit, what to do? Or if balancing figure is in credit, what to do? If there is balancing figure in debit side or if there is balancing figure in credit side. Yes, children. If balancing figure is in debit, uh, we can say this is goodwill. Please note down one question you will get. If that balancing figure is in credit, that is capital reserve. So as we can see, credit total is 5,40,000 and debit is only 5 lakh. It means 40,000 will be treated as goodwill. So your answer will be C, goodwill. Answer will be C. O. Very good. Farah, Chavi, Medha, all of you have given correct answer, Bacho. Very good. C, match your answer. This is C, goodwill. Option C. Now say, which of the following statement is false? Read the carefully. False. Maturity, debenture holders get back their money? Correct. Debentures can be forfeited. Yes. See, if you find this false statement there, you can see the debentures never forfeited for non-payment of call. Yes. Debentures are shown under long-term borrowings. Correct. Interest on debenture is a charge. Yes. So we can say that second statement is not correct. A company is uh, cannot forfeit it 
these debentures. Other charge is their long term is correct, get back their money also if that is redeemable. Now, please, which of the following statement is false? Which of the following statement is false? Company can issue redeemable debentures. Company can issue debentures with voting rights. See, this is the major difference between share and debenture. Shareholders, equity shareholders have having voting rights because they are the real owners. While debenture holders don't have any voting rights, they are not the real owners. They are treated as creditors. Okay, so B is false. B is false. Now, please, next. 16th question. According to the guideline issued by SEBI, read the question carefully. What percentage of the amount of debentures must be transferred to DRR? Debenture Redemption Reserve. That question they gave in CUET. Just I want to tell you what is convertible debentures. See, there are variety of debentures convertible and non-convertible. Convertible debentures are those debentures that company uh, give the option to convert their debenture into equity shares. And debenture holders, those are non-convertible, they will not get any right. So here, DRR means debenture redemption reserve, has to make by the company, but in case of convertible debentures, that will be zero. No need to make DRR because the debentures are already converted easily. Now we are moving to three marker questions. Yes, please. Very good question. I want to tell you by this way, see what they are going to do. They will give you one case study. And on the basis of one case study, they can frame three questions. Got it? So this type of questions they can frame, like one case study will be there and they will give you some questions like here. B limited purchase the following assets land and building 55 lakh at rupees 75 lakh this is the major line at rupees don't take book value always take the decided value okay now furniture 20 lakh machinery 30 lakh purchase consideration 1 crores payment of 10 lakh made by check and the balance through 9% debentures of 100 each at a premium of 20%. Now, what will be the amount credited to capital reserve? So to calculate capital reserve, we have to make one general entry first. Don't do the calculation randomly. Just you know how to calculate capital reserve. I explained you. If the figure is in debit, that will be goodwill. If the balancing figure in credit, that is capital reserve. Yes, children, try to do these two questions. We will discuss here. So for this question, just make the entry fast. Land and building debit. 75 lakh, furniture debit, 20 lakh. They can make the question accordingly, pass the general entry as well. Machinery debit, 30 lakh. To C limited, and that is 1 crore. Now, see the total of that is 1 crore 25 lakh. And here that is only 1 crore. So that 25 lakh will be balancing figure in credit. If balancing figure in credit, that will be capital reserve. Okay. 
So A. If balancing figure will be in debit, that will be goodwill. Okay, now here, what will be the numbers? I give you one formula to calculate numbers. Yes, my dear children, what is the formula? Always use that formula. Net amount to be paid upon issue price. Now, someone is asking what do you understand by issue price see issue price are of three types at par at premium at discount par means same premium means more discount means less so here what is the net amount to be paid children 90 lakh because 10 lakh paid through check issue price 120% premium. So that will be 120. Are you able to do that? So that will be 75,000. Yes, do it fast. So these types of questions will come. Yes, I am sure you all are able to get that. Okay, Bacho? Yes, answer is also there. Yes, Aditi, your answer is perfect. See, match it. Very good, Aditi. Keep it up, beta. 25 lakh. Same here. Answer is C, 75,000. Yes. Yes, Aditi, try to do more questions. See that. What will be the security premium reserve amount. I am going to give you one easiest way. How many shares, uh, debentures we have calculated? Simple. Number into rupees. 7,500 debentures. Okay. 75,000. And when premium is 20, so that will come 15 lakh. See, in the previous question, we calculated number of debentures. In previous question, we know what is the amount of SPR. That is 20. So, total is 15 lakh. Very good. Next. Answer. B. 15 lakh. Next. ABC decided to acquire the running business of Y Limited. So it took over the asset of rupees 6 lakh 60,000, liabilities of 80,000 of Y Limited, purchase consideration 5 lakh 85,000, debentures were issued 100 at discount of 10. Previous question that was premium. It is discount. Now goodwill account will be debited. See, they change the question. Generally, they give the amount and name the account. Here, they have given the name the account and they want to calculate the amount. Okay, now see how to do it. Yes, children, I'm waiting for your answer, Bacho. Yes, see, First of all, assets account debit, that is 6,60,000, two liabilities of rupees 80,000, two buy limited, purchase consideration, 5,85,000. Now see the total of Credit is 6,65,000. Debit is 6,60. It means 5,000 will be treated as goodwill. So if there is balance in debit side, that will be goodwill. If balance in credit, that will be capital reserve. Okay. Now see, we are going to clear it. Oh, someone has given the answer. Yes, Aditi, perfect. Your speed is very fast. Try to do 
Okay, more questions. Don't use the calculator and you will be able to do the questions correctly in your exams as well. Very good. Now see, discount on issues. See, this is the question continuously. Or uh, issue of debenture is written off in the year debentures are allotted in the following sequence. Okay, see. Lloyd, discount on issue of debenture is write off accordingly. SPR first, then CR, then if required, then taken from SOPL. Now, a very good question. How many number of debentures to be issued? Number of debentures to be issued. Yes, how much amount we have to pay? Just now we have discussed. We have to pay five lakh eighty-five thousand rupees, and at discount ninety, so that will come sixty-five hundred. Okay, so the correct answer is sixty-five hundred. So what I want to tell you, they can make the case studies as well, like this. On the basis of one question, they can frame three to four questions. See how that file like 85 and 90 is given. I'll show you the previous slide again. Simple. Don't worry about that. See, file like 85,000 is purchase consideration and 100 minus 10%, that is 90. Okay. So your answer will be 6,500. Next. Sargam Woolen Limited. Hmm. Yes, we can, but generally, see for debentures, that will be the sequence. So SOPL will be the last. Okay, now see general entries. Here, see what how they frame the question. Sangam Woolen Limited, Ludhiana, are the end exporters of government, the company decided to distribute full free woolen garments to 10 villages of Lohal and Spiti district of Himachal Pradesh. They appointed 50 young persons and company issued 40,000 equity shares, okay, of rupees 10 each and 1,009% of uh, 100 to the vendors for purchase of machinery of rupees 5 lakh. Okay? Yes, please. Now see. Match your general entry. First entry is machinery account debit to vendor. Then second entry, vendor debit to equity share capital and to debentures. 40,000 into 10, 1,000 into 200. Or you can make the separate entry for equity share capital for debentures. But in the books, that is given combinedly because 5 lakh is to be paid through shares and debentures. Please note down the question, then we will move to next question. So they can frame the, the question like this way. Generally, they want to know the entries, but they frame the question initial through case studies. Yes, now, this is the question came in CBSE, and in this, the purchase consideration amount is not given. So students are confused. So I am telling you to do that question. 5,000 equity shares of 10 each at a premium of 30%. 1,008% debentures of 100 each at a discount of 10%. Balanced by a promissory note of 48,000 for two months. Now general entries for the purchase of machinery and payment to made. So here, purchase of machinery, the amount of machinery is not given how to calculate it. Yes, children, here I'm going to show you. See, 5,000. Okay, what is the purchase consideration? 
or what is the value of machinery please let me know see 5000 into 13 well, how 13 10 plus 3 this 10 plus 3 okay then 1000 into 90 how 90 100 minus 10 here this 10 and this 48,000. So that is 13 fives, that is 9,000, and that is 48,000. This is the, this is promissory note, promissory note. So that will be total amount. That will be total amount that is 90,000. So the total amount will be 90,000. The total amount will be 2 lakh, 2 lakh, 3,000. Okay, now we will pass the general entries. So, machinery debit to K limited through 2,3,000. Payment made by equity shares, payment made by debentures, payment made by bills payable. So, that question may come for four mark. But in this question, they have checked your conceptual clarity that you know how to calculate the total amount of machinery purchase, then security premium reserve, how to put that, how to put that discount on issue of debentures, and what will be the term used for payment of promissory note. Please note down that question. This is the important point that how that two lakh three thousand is there. Note down. Then we will do next question. Next. X Y Z Industries Limited issued two thousand. 10% debentures at a premium of 10. Application 50, allotment 60, debentures were fully subscribed, all the money received. Here, if nothing is given, we can write that premium is included at the time of allotment. See here, no entry is required for calls. Okay, because the total amount is covered in application and allotment itself. See how the general entries will be there. Bank debit to application. Okay, application debit to debentures. Then allotment with premium. Note down the answer first. Yes, next. TV Component Limited issued 10,000 12% debentures of rupees 100 each at a discount of 5%. 40 on application, 55 on allotment. See, in this question and in the previous question, the major difference is that previous question is of premium while this question is of discount okay and the uh, amount adjusted up to allotment only so there is no need to pass the entries for calls now see Application 40, allotment 55, because 5% is discount. So 100 minus 5, okay, 95 will be the total. 
95 will be the total. C. Bank account debit to application, application transfer to debentures, then do it means discount on issue of debenture will be debit because this is the loss for the company. Here, five rupees is the loss. Okay, note down first. Five rupees is the discount, and if nothing is given in the question, that will be debited at the time of allotment. That will debited at the time of allotment. Next question. Again, a good question of collateral security. See here, Bacho, loan is 10 lakh at 9% interest, but company issued debentures as collateral security for 15 lakh here as collateral additional secondary security now company decided not to record and company decided to record so if company decided not to record then only one general entry is sufficient but if company decided to record then collateral security, then two general entries will be required. Note down, children. If first not to record, it means only bank loan to be taken. But in second case, record as collateral, then debenture suspense account to be debited. Please note down. Yes, children, fast. Okay, so simply, if not to record, then don't pass the second entry. And if they decided to record, then you have to issue the debentures as collateral. So debenture suspense account to be open. Again, a good question. Varun Limited was a profit-making organization. They decided to expand their business. So he has taken a set of rupees 10 lakh, liabilities of rupees 1 lakh 80 thousand. Okay. Varun Limited issued 9% debentures at a discount of 5% in full satisfaction of pur purchase consideration. What will be the amount of capital reserve? Yes, children, I'm waiting for your answer here. Please try to do that question. Okay. See how to do that. First of all, I told you, you have to make the general entry. Then it will be easy for you. No. Asset debit, 10 lakh. Liabilities credit, 1 lakh 80,000. Gains. Purchase consideration of seven lakh sixty thousand. Now see the balancing figure is there. That is credit, eh? sixty thousand. It means capital reserve will be sixty thousand. Capital reserve will be sixty thousand. Note down, children. I am sure you all are able to get the answer. So they can give you the question to calculate debit balance, to calculate credit balance, or if they give you balance, they can ask you what is the name of the account, or here simply, what is the amount for capital reserve? So if that is the credit, then capital reserve, debit means goodwill.
Yes, someone has given the answer. Yes, Aditi. Your answer is perfect. See, match your answer. Very good. 60,000. Now we are moving on the basis of this case study, other questions. What will be the number of debentures to be issued? Yes, children, please give your answer, your view. Uh, if you want to see the case study, see here, uh, purchase consideration is 7,60,000 and debentures are issued at 5% discount. How to calculate numbers? How to calculate numbers? Simple, as I gave you the formula initially, numbers is equals to net amount to be paid. Net amount to be paid. Upon issue price. So net amount to be paid is 7,60,000 and issue price of one debenture is 95. How 95? Because 100 minus 5 is discount. Okay? So your answer will be 8,000. Check your answer. Please match your answer also. Yes, Farah, Chavi, Medha, please give your view. Do you think that question number two, what will be the answer of question number two? Yes, question number two, answer is 8,000 and the DOID will be written off through capital reserve because they have that reserve. Now she, uh, Anthony Limited issued 20,000 9% debentures at 10% discount to Mithu Limited from whom assets and liabilities were taken over. Okay, and these debentures are redeemed at 5%. See, this is the question. Please note down the question and here I am going to show you the easy way. Asset debit, goodwill is balancing figure, not given in the question. So credit minus debit, that will be good. Purchase consideration, okay? How to calculate purchase consideration? Simply 20,000 debentures into 90. This is known as PC and debit. Now this credit will be debit and see debentures are always entered at face value. Okay, and 5% POD is given. 5% of 20 lakh. POD will be calculated on face value. So again, Lloyd will be balancing figure here. Please note down this question because these type of questions given in sample papers as well. Yes, children, do it fast and note down the answer. If you have doubt in that answer, please let me know. Yes, please check, match your answer. This question they can frame like that also, what is the amount of goodwill? What is the amount of loss on issue of debenture? What is the amount for premium on redemption of debentures? So they can frame the question according to their choice, but the basic concept will be same. <laughs> Note down first. Next question. 
रैंडम लिमिटेड टुक ओवर रनिंग बिजनेस ऑफ मैच्योर लिमिटेड एसेट liabilities purchase consideration and the amount was settled by bank draft of 150000 by 12% preference shares pass entries in the books simple see here what i am going to tell you all questions are looking similar but every question is different see here in the quest this question purchase consideration given but in the previous question we calculated purchase consideration in the previous question the balancing figure was in debit which is goodwill here balancing figure is in credit that is capital reserve okay please note down and then payment made by bank draft preference shares and premium 15% premium now they can ask you what will be the numbers so here numbers will be as i told you numbers will be by the same way net amount to be paid upon issue price so here net amount to be paid 34 lakh 50000 don't made the mistake of 36 lakh because 1 lakh 50000 paid through bank it means the remaining 34 lakh 50000 to be paid that mistake maximum students made See already you paid back through bank, so net amount is thirty four lakh fifty thousand and hundred at premium. It means more than face value, hundred and fifteen. So your answer will be eleven three zero one one five three zero three four five thirty thousand will be Schneider debentures. Okay, see that thirty thousand will be debentures. I am sure now you all are able to do that. Yes, Sushi Limited is a manufacturer of heavy machines in a town of Kota. It follows high standards of environment. of the process of manufacturing then company runs a school to provide quality education medical facilities okay for that residents company is doing well now they are going to start manufacturing unit in indore especially for disadvantaged section of the society so company decided to issue 50000 shares of 100 each at par 80000 10% debentures of 100 at 95 repayable at 105 now see just for confusion they have given you the initial case study okay now please let me know total funds raised by the company this question is for you all my dear children please try to give your opinion what is the total fund raised here i am going to give you some clue funds raised through share capital and through debentures yes children give your view what do you think what will be the answer use elimination theory 50000 is impossible because 50000 is the only number okay 80 lakh so that will also eliminate because already here 80 lakh is there and we have to add these two this is total fund Yes, children. Give your answer. Waiting for your answer. I have given you the clue. Add these two. Fifty thousand. 
but at how much amount you will add that I want to check. What will be the amount you will take? Yes, your answer. Hmm. Now we will do that. See here, numbers into rupees. 50,000 in 200. That will be 50, two, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then debentures, 100 at 95. So 80,000 into 95. So that will come 7, 60, 70, 60, and four zeros. One, two, three, four. So the total will be one, two, six. Please match your answer. That is correct. Third, that is not correct because that is at five rupees. Yes, please match your answer. I'm sure all children are ready to give the answer. Yes, Aditi, perfect. Yes, Farah, Medha, what is your opinion? Yes, perfect. C answer is correct. Good. Next. C is correct. Now, next. These two. When debentures are allotted, 10% debentures account is debited or credited. See, what I want to tell you, in front of debentures, always face value will be there. Either it is at par, at premium, or at discount the debentures will always be at face value. So here, 80,000, okay, debentures of 100 rupees each. That's why it is 80 lakh. Yes, children, please. Are you ready? Next question. Yes, I'm waiting for your answer for question number three. Yes, Chavi. Yes, Aditi, Farah, all. I am waiting for your answer of question number three. Loss on issue of debenture. Lloyd amount. Yes. What do you think? What will be the Lloyd? The amount of loss on issue of debenture is... 8 lakh. How 8 lakh? See, 105 is the board amount total and uh, amount okay. redeemed and 95 is the redemption amount. So 10% of 80 lakh, that will be 8,000 is the loss. Now see again, Raj Limited issued 8% debentures of 100 each at a premium of 5%. Okay, now see, this is the complicated point, balance. How to calculate balance? Yes, here I am going to show you one easy way. See, the total value is 105 and total 10 plus 20 deducted. So that will be 75. First and final. Okay, so by this way, you can come to know. And here, 20 along with premium, it means 15 plus 5 will be there. Okay, now see. See, this is the question. 10 on application, 5 piece premium, and 15 to... Uh, at a step of allotment, so total 20 and balance 75. See, this is the question. Bank to application, number in two rupees, application debit to debentures. Now, 
See, it is given clearly that 20 rupees is the allotment, but including premium of five. So we make it separate five rupees as SPR, security premium reserve. Then first call made by 75 rupees. And that is the first call also received because in this question, area not given. Next. Now, Vishwas Limited issued 2,000 debentures of 9%, 25 application, 25 allotment, 50 on first and final call. Okay, so a call money also received on due date, no error. So same way, bank to application, application to debentures, no premium. So no need to pass the entry for premium that is at par. Okay. Okay, see that question. Bank debit to application. Again, I'm going to show you 25 on application, 25 on allotment, 50 on first and final call, no premium, no discount, that is at par, okay? So simply bank to application, application to debentures, allotment to debentures, bank to debenture allotment, first call due, and then first call received. Simple way. See if it is given clearly first and final call means they are completing the amount up to here only. Now see health to wealth limited had share capital of 80,000 divided in shares of 100 each at 20,000 and it part of capital. Now, now they need additional capital of 55 lakh. For that, they issued debentures at 10% premium, but redeemed at 20% premium after four years. These are issued on 1st October. <coughs> Now prepare a pass entries, prepare Lloyd account, calculate interest. Be careful, they are asking you about 30th September and 31st March every year. It means that interest to be calculated for six months. <laughs> yes, six months. So bank to application and allotment. 8% debentures, 10% is SPR, 20% is poured, then Lloyd account to be prepared, and journal entries. See how to calculate interest. That's I am going to show you. <laughs> then at the end, debenture holders account debit to bank. Okay, interest you have to calculate for six months because they are going to give the interest, see here, two times in a year, 30th September and 31st March. Okay, so how to calculate interest? See, interest is always calculated on the face value. So here, clearly given, face value is 80 lakh, okay? Uh, and the additional fund they required, okay, 50,000 debentures. Hmm? So on that, they will calculate. So 4 lakh into 6 by 12. Because two times in a year. Now see. This is the question because here premium is given at the time of application. That's why this question is little bit different because application is including premium. 
If nothing is mentioned, we calculate premium at the time of allotment, but here that is given at the time of application. Yes, please note down. Face value of debenture is 100, premium is 10%, so issue price is 110. Then application is total 25 rupees. So remaining 85 rupees balance on allotment. Okay, so balance on allotment will be 85. Because 110 minus 25, then 85 at the time of allotment. Note down debentures application debit to debentures to SPR because they are asking about the entries related with that, not with the bank. Otherwise, how we have to make first entry bank to debenture applications, okay? Second, debenture application to debentures to SPR, then third, due amount on allotment, and fourth, amount received on allotment, that is bank debit to debenture allotment. Now, see, a good question given in the sample paper as well. Debentures are issued at par, issued at premium, issued at discount. That type of questions may come in shares as well as in debentures. Purchase consideration other than cash. Yes, please note down the question. And uh, again, I want to tell you, they can give you the point that calculate number of debentures as well. Number of debentures as well. So here, see first entry, asset debit to liabilities to vendor. Vendor is Star Limited. Second entry, 10% amount made in cash, vendor debit to cash, and then the, we will start these cases. See, first entry, asset account debit to liabilities, to Star Limited, purchase consideration given. So balancing figure will be in debit side. That's why it is treated as asset. If the, a goodwill, if that is given in the credit, it will be capital reserve. Then star limited to cash, 60,000. Star limited to debentures, 540,000 at par. At premium, we have to calculate the numbers. Okay. Yes, how to calculate the numbers? I told you, you we have to use this formula. Numbers is equals to net amount to be paid upon issue price. Here, that is issue price is 120 because that is 20% premium. 4500. So simply numbers into rupees, numbers into rupees. Now come on to the next. How to calculate numbers? 540,000 is paid through discount. Here discount is 10%. It means the value is 90. So that will come 6,000. So debentures 6,000 into 100 and discount 6,000 into 10. This is at par. Okay, this is at par, this is at premium, this is at discount. Yes, children, do it first. So this is at premium. That's why SPR be credited. This is a discount. That's why DOIT to be debited. 
we have to calculate the numbers because when we calculate the numbers it is it becomes very easy we can put one formula number into rupees I am sure you all are able to do these type of questions. See, uh, they can frame this type of question in MCQ. They can frame this type of short question in for three markers. Next. In this question, uh, one important thing is given that there is some fraction and fraction to be paid in cash. That's why this question becomes little bit difficult. Three cases are there. So first is asset debit to liabilities, okay, to vendor. Then vendor by paying debentures, settled by paying debentures at par, at discount, at premium. See here, so there will be four general entries Okay, now be careful. Fractions to be paid in cash. This is important thing. Now see how to calculate fractions. First entry, asset debit, two liabilities, two vendor, clearly vendor given. Okay, yes, children, look at the screen. Clearly vendor given. So goodwill is balancing figure. That goodwill is in debit. That's why it is balancing figure. And Mohan brothers, this is PC. PC means purchase consideration. Now three condition at par, at premium, at discount. Yes, children, be careful about that. At par, it means the debit will become credit. Simply. And numbers. For calculation of numbers, here I want to give you one easy formula that numbers is equals to net amount to be paid, be paid upon issue price. So here that three lakh eighty thousand. Now, if it is at par, you have to divide it by hundred. If it is at premium, you have to divide it by hundred and ten because ten percent premium. If that is at discount, you have to divide it by ninety. Why? Because 10% premium, 10% discount. So you will get the numbers simply. Here also you will get the numbers 3, 4, 5, 4. And the fraction will be in cash. Here same. You will calculate that when you divide it, that is 4, 2, 4, 2. And fraction you will give through cash. Note down, children, why this question becomes important? This is by this line only, like balancing figure, how to calculate balancing figure. That's why I told you calculate numbers. So it becomes easy. Number into rupees, 100. Number into rupees. Balancing figure, because we know that debit must be equal to credit. So balancing figure will be paid through cash. And at the end, DOID will be transferred to SOPL. Yes, this is the major thing in the question that how to calculate fraction. You cannot write the whole amount here because the numbers multiplied by rupees. And see in front of debenture always face value will be there. Balancing figure. This is balancing figure that will be through cash. Note down, children. Now see how to log in an aspiration. See, you have to get this screen. 
you will put your name, then password, okay, login, and sign up. In that aspiration.ai, you will get board helpline, NCRT books, NCRT solution, some sample papers, okay, and see best written answers. You can take the help how to write the answers in accountancy. So this year you will get different type of sheet, answer sheet, so you will use it properly. Huh. Then games, GK Jones, CUT, other course, career guides, 50, 150 must do questions you will get. And uh, you will get board helpline, e classes, exam strategy section, some mock papers you will get. Okay. Formula list and mind maps we will give. And as you know, we are giving you daily practice sheet quiz at 2 p.m. And at 9 p.m., we daily put the answers, okay? So here, when you take the free services of board helpline, recordings, sessions, mock papers, worksheets, model answers you will get, okay? And I am sure you all have timetable, okay? Like this timetable, you will take the help of this timetable, okay? Then... Good luck for your exams. Do the best. If you need any help from the from my side, I'll always ready to help you out. Take the help of Telegram channel. Put your doubts there. Okay.